probably think I'm bullshitting, but if I called, you know, one of you three to be like, listen, what I'm going to tell you. absolutely know you're bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, this is just another one of your fucking tall tales. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Mm, yeah. Uh, before we get into what he he and Sam Chavez talked about, why don't we take a quick beer break? Let's do it. We'll be right back. Okay. We're back. Um, so where we left off, Zamora, after just seeing some shit, he's calling his good buddy, uh, Police Sergeant Sam Chavez, uh, to come and assist. And you know, you know, he wants to vent to him, obviously, about what he just saw. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like we said before, uh, Zamora and Chavez are on personal terms. Like they're both friends and, uh, Chavez is, has described Zamora, you know, in, in documentaries and interviews and stuff, you know, that they, he describes Zamora as being a, a trustworthy police officer and somebody who is not prone to making up stories. Uh, you know, so he's not, he's not the type of guy that's going to just make something up just to, to goof around or, um, you know, get attention well, or something like that. He, he... To be on and to be honest, like again, people are like, "Yeah, that doesn't mean shit." But it's like you know what? If like, if you're a police officer and that's your career, you're a career police officer, and you make up a hoax like this, like the the you run the risk of like losing your career mm-hmm. because you're lying. Because if you're lying about this, you can't be trusted with other shit. So it's like to me, I'm like, is is there police officers who would fucking go ahead and lie? And I'm like. Yes, we see it all the time. But to be, you know, oh, yes, I did find those drugs there. You know, like, oh, I didn't hit him that many times. Those kind of lies, 100%. For a, just a cop to just be like, hey, randomly lie about this, it's, to me, I'm like, the risk reward, like, is way and, off balance. Because you're like, what are you getting from this if this is a hoax? But not even that, too. It's not like he's, he's not hopping on dispatch and being like, I saw an alien. No, I saw, no, you know, no. like, he's like, I don't know what I saw. I don't understand what this is. This is fucking weird. Like, I, I don't see any angle where this guy would benefit from fucking making the story up. No, no, definitely not. So the, uh, Zamora at this point is still, uh, visibly, he's still shaken, uh, from the, the event and, and Chavez has to kind of like coax him into going down to where the craft actually was. Um, uh, some reports have Zamora being uh, like hesitant to kind of go down, like not really sure of what he saw and being kind of, I, I don't want to go down there I, just because of what I saw. Um, it smells like a smart man. <laughs> and, so, but they, you know, he manages to get him down there and they go and they, and they survey the, the scene of, of where the craft had been and then had, lifted off the ground so what they find is they find that apparently they're reported to have found these uh, indentations on the ground so four indentations um that measured around like is it it was like eight like eight inches like eight eight inches long nine wide nine deep uh, yeah, I think that's 1,300 centimeters or something. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the conversion. <laughs> uh, and um, and so they, they find that. They find uh, apparently like some of the, um, you know, some of the st- like a lot of disturbance around the ground. There's some there's some signs of, of stuff being kind of uh, some singeing or, or uh, some kind of like smoldering. heat smoldering kind of going it's, around. Yeah, like – well, and then like I was reading one account too that they said that the ground had – been compacted so so hard that it's almost looked like a glass like texture yeah so it's been some like um like heat blasted the whole yeah, like surface well, yeah some full gray well it's on. interesting because it's, it's almost like it's almost like he contacts this buddy of his from another department to come here to be like i need you here to verify this so that people like you know me to not be a bullshitter so that when we report this out people don't think i'm full of shit like that's yeah. to me what it seems like. Yeah, he's looking well, for then a it, little backup, little. Well, and by all accounts, like everybody that ended up coming, because it went, you know, eventually more people came to the scene. More mm-hmm. Socorro officers ended up showing up, and one of them actually said that uh, the bushes were smoldering, like someone cut them uh, from the top with some big flamethrower. Lonnie was as white as a corpse, and he ain't exactly no f- pale face normally. He was sweating <laughs> like a spent horse, but it was a cold sweat. So he shook. Yeah, he's shook, and there's fucking, you know, like, he's got burning bushes everywhere. Like, oh, 
Well, again, oh, the, gra- the gravity. Maybe this was like, Jesus. Jesus. Lo- Moses, the burning bush. Moses was the burning bush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he lost his opportunity. Moses, they were going to tell him to build a fucking boat. Shit. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's going to tell him how to build a tabernacle. This is, <laughs> there's a couple of. This is, the, it, the thing for me is, I'm like, too, like, if you think you saw this, like, truly, you, like, you can't. The one thing you can't fake are, like, signs of, like, shock like that, where you're just like ghostly white so it's like the that to me is like the gravity of this man has just seen something where he's now starting to question what did i see who was that and then it, it's probably changing his whole outlook on life right now of just like were these aliens did i see aliens did i see what i think i saw right like it, it's the, just imp- unexplainable. the impact of I saw- actually seeing that and then knowing firsthand like where you're just like it it doesn't matter if anyone ever believes me i know i now have knowledge that we are not alone like the shit the impure like impact of that on you must be huge when you if that happened to you yeah like, well, I don't know if like, he's I've convinced it. that it was aliens. Right. Though, it's right? just like, just the fact time that he... you're seeing something that I can't explain from my frame of reference. Like I have no idea like what I just saw. Like I saw these small looking people over there hop into a metal egg, drift go up into the sky and take off. And I have no idea how any of that works. And j- mm-hmm. just having to explain that to people, um, yeah, would put me on edge. Just being like, I don't, I don't know how to explain any of this. I, I don't know what I saw. Um, you know, so having people kind of come in and, and back up and, and like, and did I really see something? Would, <laughs> yeah, and then because you would be questioning everything because like you'd, you're now having other people come and you're like, am I crazy? Did I see this? Did I see what I think I saw? Are these people going to be judging me? Are they like? I, I imagine this. The gravity of the situation is almost probably overwhelming. And, yeah, but luckily. Luckily for Zamora, there were actually quite a bit of other witnesses to this event. Right. And and we have like and we also have like there was physical evidence. There was physical evidence of yeah. something, which is a lot of, you know, a lot of kind of UFO uh, sightings. You really don't have anything to go on besides like I nope. saw something. I saw something. And it's like I saw something. It was this big. It yeah, was this it was fast. This, it was this light. Color, it was this it. light stood here for a second, took off. OK, um, but this one, you know, they have actual physical evidence on the ground that you can touch and feel and look at and, and interact and examine. So the very next day, April 25th, they had military investigators out on the scene. Um, it, it's not that unusual, uh, I would say, because uh, they were sent by the the nearby White Sands Army Base. So you know, people aren't familiar with White Sands, like we've talked about it a couple times. Um, it's famous for being where the first atomic bomb test, uh, Trinity, uh, occurred. It's where they test detonated there. Yeah. Um, and you, it's, got, you got shit around this area. So where there, if someone's reporting something unidentified that the military didn't know about, I am sure they are fucking more than interested. Especially at this time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so or maybe they're yeah. maybe they're heading back to prevent the the testing of the atomic bomb. <laughs> so um, and they just missed it by the timing wrong. Yeah, they missed, missed it, it by right? decade. Yeah, yeah. missed it by decade. Happens. Yeah, so that test was on point July nineteen forty five. Yeah, it happens. But, um, time travel is probably not an easy thing. You just set the dial just wrong. You get twenty years off. Like, Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so the person they sent uh, on to to go ahead and get the on site information is Army Captain Richard T. Holder, and he was the uprange commander. And he Dick was, Holder. Yes. Did you say his <laughs> name is Dick Holder. Yes. <laughs> That is yeah. quite. I love how they add the E in there to try to throw you off, so you T. don't make the connection that his name or your T, so you don't make the name Dick Holder. Yeah. But let's just refer to him as Dick Holder yeah. from here on out. I'm also familiar with the uh, you know the military culture, so I'm sure he got so much shit for that yeah. until he fucking yeah. until, <laughs> like until he made uh probably made lieutenant but i think he probably got a bunch of shit for it so um uh, so along with uh army captain holder uh they sent <laughs> they sent fbi agent uh d arthur burns jr uh from the albuquerque office so you had a bunch of federal people coming down military and federal authorities coming in to, to kind of check this out so um surprisingly enough uh it was kind of 
interesting because so the Lonnie Zamora case is actually featured on an episode of the old Unsolved Mysteries TV show. Phenomenal. Um, Phenomenal. I watched it. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a great I love the scene where the, the ship's blasting off and it's like, boy, he's like, ah, hide behind the car. It's <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Anything with Ryan. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.